You know I love red dots. You know I love the best bang for your buck. Now, I'm always looking for QPC, quality performance at cost. That's something that I coined, QPC. And when it comes to red dots, I'm definitely wanting my QPC. Now, Bushnell recently came out with some new red dots for regular and compact pistols. Now, for the compacts, like my Springfield Hellcat here, which I absolutely love, they have the micro-reflex sights like the RXs, and they've got two of those. The new RXs, the RXU200 and the RXC200, are basically the same thing, but different simply in their height. You know, the U for the RXU is ultra-compact. Now, they're compatible with anything that accepts the Shield RMS or RMSC footprint in the mounting patterns. Let's check out the RXU 200. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now I'm reviewing the RXU 200, the ultra compact for, you know, ultra compact concealed carry. So why am I standing at my 50, 100, 200, and all the way up to 500 yard range? You're gonna find out. If you follow me and watch many of my red dot reviews, I really am a stickler for Shake Awake, Motac, Motion Activated. Um, this is what I want in any and all red dots to the point that I will personally not use anything that doesn't have these. Why? Um, because I don't want to remember to have to turn it off and then have dead batteries. If it has an auto off, that's great. It will shut off. But if I'm concealing it or I pull it out in an emergency, I don't want to have to remember to turn it on. I just want it on all the time, but I don't want to have to turn it off. Now, with that said, this is an exception because this is in kind of a newer thing, always on. It, you don't turn it off. You don't turn it on. It's just simply always on. Okay. That is different. There are a few of these out there and they are becoming much more popular. You know, it saves a huge hassle and it really does make them kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay. Let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and go from there. Okay, so the Bushnell, the RXU 200 out of the box in less than 60 seconds, maybe even 30. The directions, everything, we've got the cover, we have the optic itself, it comes with the battery. It is one of the undermounters. I'm gonna be honest, that is not my preference. Um, when you're getting this small, it's gonna be hard to do it any other way, but it does affect the torture test that I'm able to do on these because I'm gonna to have to drop the whole gun or drop this thing mounted, which a lot of times just doesn't work real well. And then of course it has the tools that we need. There you go, out of the box. It is very low profile, right? So we don't have a huge window here. Um, some are gonna like that and some aren't. Those that don't like it, if you like everything else, you like what they've got going here, you just go with the RXC, which is higher. Okay, nice. Approximately 50,000 hours runtime with always on. That really kind of takes care of my issue with not having Shake Awake or Motac. Basically with 50,000 hours always on, that's 2,083 days or approximately 5.7 years. Okay, I can live without the auto on off. It's KISS all the way. It is very small, low profile, and co-witnessing 
and about as snag free as you can get. Let's get it zeroed and have some fun. I'm going to zero it here at 50 yards. I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so working on getting it zeroed here, and I know a lot of people comment and they think I'm crazy for zeroing my pistols at 50 yards, but it's sound logic, guys. I'm going to zero even a ultra compact optic like this on a concealed carry because if I'm zeroed at 50, the groups are just going to get smaller and tighter the closer I get in. Standard deviation, right, left, up, down, is greatly exaggerated the farther we get back. So I can actually make the most micro adjustments with the distance. And I also like to try to bang at 200 and 100 just because it's me and I think it's fun, but I think it's sound logic anyway. Special thanks to Remington for providing all the ammo for this review. Okay, I've got this on my Springfield Hellcat. Okay, it's got a nice low profile. And guys, it is sleek and it really doesn't snag. Okay, it, it is very nicely constructed that way. Let's just take a look here. Okay, so this is pretty much what I'm seeing when I'm looking down the sights. That red dot is pretty much covering that six inch circle, which it should be. And then you can see co-witnessing is pretty much spot on. Now, I just did a group here. Let's go take a look. Okay, you know, it's really not too bad at 50 yards. One, two, three, four, five. Did six shots. Now, we want to adjust just down a little bit and to the right a little bit. Okay, so we need to go down and to the right. Now, pretty simple. Here is one thing, though, that I have noticed that I'm not fond of, is when I'm making the adjustments, I have no palpable or audible clicking. It just simply is the same tension as I'm turning it, which can make it really difficult sometimes uh, sighting in or zeroing an optic if I don't have clicks. Okay, so made some adjustments. You saw the first initial group. I can't remember. One, two, three, I think it was four, five. Okay, so then I made some adjustments. <laughs> we got a nice tight group. You got to be happy with that. Uh, I'm super happy with that. So, unfortunately, the arrow on the adjustment, I didn't have my glasses, and I turned it up when I was trying to turn it down. So, I did go up, but I got the right. That arrow was very easy, and then I just fired off another group. One, two, three, four, five. Again, solid group, guys. This is my dot, okay? That 6 MOA dot is completely covering this, which actually, I will say, it is a really nice, crisp, clean dot. Um, I would like the clicks, but we're not doing bad without the clicks. I went just a little too low, so I'm going to fire one more group, bring this up, and then we're going to start having some fun. Okay, just did... Uh, that last, I, I dialed it up a little bit, and I did get some more. I got two shots there. One, two. Yeah, I think I'm going to call that good right now. Um, let's bang on some steel. You know me, my philosophy, go big or go home. I'm not going to even start out at 50 or 100. We're just going to reach right over there across the pond, and let's see if we can hit that steel at 200 and go from there. Before I forget, again, special thanks to Remington and Up Lula. Man, guys, if you do not have one of these, it is better than sliced bread. This is the only way to load your mags. Save your thumbs. All right. Let's listen for the ting. Wow, well, I'll have to show you. <laughs> that, that 6 MOA red dot at 200 yards is quite a bit wider than my full-size IDPA, but I bet you we're going to make it work. Let's give it a go. 
think I got it. Let's try again. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm about five feet above the top of the target, just a little right, because we've got just a little bit of crosswind. Let's give it a go again. <laughs> I'd love that. Oh, I missed it. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Costs you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Did Okay, let's just try down there at a hundred yards. Okay, let's put my Zen on. No mind. Better. Okay, let's just try a hundred yards here benching it. It's not bad, guys. Yeah, about the same. Oh. Okay, so we're back at the CQB range. Um, we're going to give this a try back here. Uh, we're having some great luck with it at distance. And that, however, for most of you is not what you're looking at this for. You're looking at it for something up really close like this. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot and see how it does. So if you go to Bushnell's website and you read about this, you know, they really kind of make, <laughs> they talk up the toughness. So we're going to give it a good torture test. Oh, yeah. 
I ended up down there. Um, let's go check it out. Okay, so dropped it. It's one of the reasons why I don't like it when the battery's low from the bottom, because then I'm gonna dump, dump my whole slide, which uh, shouldn't be a problem. All right. Seems to be on. All right, now I want to test the submersion. We're gonna drop it in a bucket. Okay, it's not a meter, you know, not super far off. We'll give it a test here. All right, well, let's take a look. Okay, seems to be okay intact. Um, let's put it on and test it out. Okay, so just got done torture testing it. I think the easiest way to see if it passed is how consistently can we hit the steel again at a hundred. Remember, I mean it was a little challenging, but I, I think this will I think this will do us good. Guys, proof's in the pudding. There you go. It is what it is. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. That really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Um, every time you're out getting some trigger time, you're on the range, remember that you are an ambassador for the Second Amendment, so be a safe and responsible gun owner.